Hi everyone and welcome to another session of Failure to Function Adequately. So in this session we're going to assess your knowledge with a range of activities. So let's get straight into the first task. So identify two of the following criteria that can be used to judge whether someone is failing to function adequately or not. So read the multiple choice question on screen carefully. Don't underestimate multiple choice questions. They always look really friendly and really easy at first glance, but they can be deceptively tricky. So pause the video here for two minutes while you write your answer down. And the correct answers are highlighted on the screen. You can give yourself a mark if you chose both of them. On to the next task. So read the exam style question below, decode it, and create a response. So when we say decode the question, what we're asking you to do is read the question carefully, perhaps even several times, and try and spot any command words, key terms, any specialist things in the question that would be really detrimental to miss. So decode the question, write a response, and to do that, pause the video here for five minutes. OK, so hopefully when you decoded the question, you picked up on the command word outline. So this is telling us that there's no evaluation necessary. We're doing a bit more than identifying something. We're going to give a short outline. We also should note that we're focusing on failure to function adequately. And this may sound really obvious, but a lot of students may accidentally, in the, in the stress of the exams, choose a different definition of abnormality to focus on. So it's always good to spot the thing that we're supposed to be focused on throughout our answer. Abnormality is a key word in this question because what we don't want to do is answer the question with examples about normality. So we do want to focus on failure to function and abnormal behaviour. And then lastly, the questions were three marks. So that also indicates to us how much we need to do to earn the three marks. So you can see an example on the screen. So failure to function adequately refers to a person's inability to cope with the demands of everyday life. A person would be regarded as failing to function if they caused others discomfort, experienced distress and demonstrated maladaptive behaviour amongst other things. So let's try that again. So for this time the question is explain one strength of the failure to function definition of abnormality and it's worth three marks. So a couple of tips before you start. It only asks you to do one, so only do one. It's great if you know more, but the question is asking for one, so any more than one would be detrimental to your time management. Don't fall into description. Remember, this is about evaluation, the strength, and elaboration is required. So for three marks, we're looking for you to identify a point and then be able to offer some elaboration around that point. So pause your video for five minutes while you jot your answer down. And you can see again another example on the screen. So this time, one strength is that this definition of abnormality focuses on observable behaviour rather than cognitions or data. This means that abnormality is based on things that other people can see, which makes it easier for abnormal behaviours to be spotted, whereas if the definition relied on cognitions such as thought, this would be too hard to operationalise. So three out of three for this suggested answer. We've got some good terminology in there. We're focused on the right definition and we've dealt with one strength, but we've really given it some elaboration. OK, so of course, there's also AO2 skills to factor into your exam skills. So for this task, read the scenario and answer the question. And for these questions, spend time reading and highlighting key information from the scenario. And when you get given these in exams, it's always worth noting in the back of your head that this information is offered for a reason. So if you didn't need to talk about, in this instance, Gavin and, and the information about Gavin, then it simply wouldn't be there. So refer to the scenario, use your AO2 skills, but have a careful read before you put pen to paper. So pause the video for five minutes while you read the question and the scenario and attempt to write your own answer. So let's see what you spotted then. So last time the date said she felt uncomfortable and that Gavin stared at her too much. He doesn't understand and considers prolonged eye contact 
a sign of affection. We've got suggestions that there's a problem with hygiene. And he would join in other people's conversations. And obviously this is an indication that this is really inappropriate. So for your answer, just make sure that you've got some of those points highlighted in there, that you've got clear engagement with Gavin and the story and that you've made your links to the definition.